Hi guys, it's Laura Liberty here and I wanted to give you an update on a video that I did last month which was Sensi Consultancy cancellation pending. I didn't cancel, I am still here so that's good news and I just wanted to give you an update about how I managed to do To do that I knew I needed to get like motivated myself again so my dream, revisiting my dream board. The other thing that I did and I've made a playlist on this channel which you can click on is watched a ton of Sensi videos that inspire me and get me motivated. Um, I just, again it was just about getting back on track and remembering why I was doing it and why I loved the company in the first place, so those helped kind of energise me. I also um, spoke to my superstar director and that's the first time actually, I mean we speak on Facebook quite a lot but she gave me a call as well and it was really interesting um, just speaking to her and hearing her stories, um, she's been a sexy consultant for a lot longer than I have so hearing um, that encouragement from other people like keep going you know you can do it and I spoke to my director as well about um, Grace Adele which is something if you've seen my other video you know that I'm hoping to join and I'm really excited about that too so that gave me like um, a boost as well an incentive trip that's just been announced to Greece as well so another thing I've done is mark out exactly how I'm going to achieve that incentive and that's given me a good focus for the next quarter too to know this is, this is my goal, this is what I want to achieve. Um, so yes, yeah, set long term targets, it's not just about getting your PRV for this month, it's, um, it's having big goals. And so I guess it was just regrouping and then when I contacted people I didn't feel so needy, like whiny, oh I really need this. I really felt um, that I was sharing something of benefit to them again and I'd, I'd reconnected with myself what the benefits were. Unisensi is a, a great product and there's all the safety aspects of it which is always a huge seller for 100 and some people I just told them the situation I was in. I was in two minds about whether to do that because I didn't want people to think that my business was going to be you know closing down and not no longer going to exist but at the same time that's actually what was going to happen. And I didn't tell everybody, I just told some of you know my closer customers, people who were friends um, already, just you know this is what the, the situation is. And I got orders from that as well. And the best thing that came out of um, it was that I've got lots of parties booked in. Now they are parties for a bit later in the year. So in practical ways, like I, I was excited about the product again and then I went out to some networking groups and I met, met new people business networking group is having an award ceremony and I've had my testers and business cards are going into their goodie bags at the conference so it's go back and planting seeds even though that isn't immediately going to get me sales further down the line you know later in my next three months that's some seeds that are planted that, that I can follow up so yes you need the sales for that month but you need to be planting them for further down the line booking parties ahead of time so you're not in the same situation again um, I know that it's difficult and if you want to email me if you need any any help let me know like I said I've been there thankfully I've come out of the other side <laughs> I guess my attitude has been I can do it this isn't gonna defeat me I'm capable um, of doing this so it's approaching it with a, a different mindset not the defeatist like oh no I'm going to be cancelled it's like no I, I'm not gonna be cancelled I can do this having said all that it's not enough to just think I can do it um, that's ridiculous you have to put in the the effort as well I guess my points are remember why you're doing this in the first place make sure you do actually still want to do it if, is this still right for you is this still what you want and then if it is visit your existing customer base but also clearly your existing customer base isn't feeding um, your sales enough if you're in this situation so you need to expand your customer base customer base you need to meet new people um, and you need to plant future seeds um, so not just getting the sales this month but for further down the line so you're not in the same position again networking events are good like coffee mornings charity events even on the train I, I find it hard to just speak to people randomly who I've never met that is something that I struggle with but for some reason on public transport people maybe they're not in so much of a rush they're sitting down for a while they seem a bit more chatty so for for me that's usually the best time to feel comfortable in striking up a conversation with strangers make sure you carry in you know samples and things everywhere you go keep your ears open for the key um 
points like people saying oh they want more money for Christmas for holidays people not happy with their current buzz phrases that give you an inroad to the conversation I think I think that's everything really can I get a thumbs up if it was helpful to you or if you've survived um, a cancellation and if any of the tips are useful or if you've got more tips actually leave them in the comments below that would be that would be helpful to other people who come across this video so have a great week guys and hang in there you can